Five excuses that will ruin your life. We have an adage, where there's a will, there's a way, where there's none, there are excuses. Along with thinking small, excuses are the best at illuminating the distinction between those who are making it and those who are barely scraping by. The more successful a person is, the less likely they are to rationalize their actions with limiting beliefs as excuses. Conversely, unsuccessful people experience as excusitis, a mind-deadening mental sickness. Now, excusitis can take many forms, but the five most prevalent forms of this illness are health, intelligence, age, chance, and circumstance excusitis. Let's look at how you may protect yourself from each of them in practical ways. Health excuses affect millions of people, but the amount of successful people who have poor health is staggering. Now, think Ludwig van Beethoven, Frida Kahlo, Franklin Roosevelt, Stephen Hawking. They are the icons of humanity which prove that poor health is never a legitimate excuse for not making it in life. The four doses to be shared in a moment make up the finest health excusitis vaccine. The beauty of these vaccines is that you don't need to consult a doctor. You can administer them yourself if health excusitis is indeed the disease you have caught on without your permission. Number 1. Refuse to speak about your health with anyone. Speaking about your health is not only a negative habit, but it also serves no useful purpose. It is akin to fertilizing weeds. Stop doing it because people who are successful fight for victory, while those who are unsuccessful desire compassion. Number 2. Don't stress about your health. Chronic worrywarts are the only behavior worse than persistent complainers. Consider what you could accomplish if you didn't spend so much time worrying about your health. Do some self-control exercises. Number three. Sincerely express your gratitude for your current state of health. Be thankful for your current health rather than whining about your symptoms. It said, I felt sorry for myself because I had torn shoes until I encountered a man who had no feet. Keep this proverb in mind. Number four. Keep reminding yourself, it's better to wear out than rust out. Don't squander your time on earth because you only have one life to live. Enjoy yourself rather than visualizing yourself in a hospital bed. The two most common mistakes people make when it comes to intelligence are underestimating their own intelligence and overestimating the intelligence of others. How you use the intellect you have rather than how much of it you have is what matters most. The quality of your intelligence, not just the quantity, is significantly more crucial. It is crucial to realize that someone with an optimistic attitude and an IQ of 100 will earn more money and respect than someone with a pessimistic attitude and an IQ of 120. To vaccinate yourself against intelligence excusitis, try the following few tips. Number 1. Never overrate the intelligence of others or undervalue your own intelligence. Stop stressing out about your IQ because what counts is how you use it. Many of us worry about how intelligently we appear to others. Never compare yourself to others. Be confident in what you know and are good at. How we strategically capitalize on our intelligence such as our attention, effort, and continuous learning is more important. Intelligence is malleable, but learning new skills takes time. How we capitalize our intelligence is focusing on something we can act immediately. Number two, remind yourself several times daily. My attitudes are more important than my intelligence. Put your IQ to good, constructive use. Use it to think of methods to win rather than using it to convince yourself that you will fail or to justify your losses. All you need is a positive mindset and willingness to see failure as feed forward for success. Number 3. Keep in mind that the capacity for thought is far more valuable than the capacity for fact memorization. Don't just replicate past events and other people's ideas. Instead, utilize your ingenuity to create fresh knowledge and devise innovative solutions. The world is changing at a fast pace. New problems emerge and new solutions demand it. Who are you fooling here? People who can bench press more than you in their 80s have initiated their own revolutions while they were still teenagers. No one is ever too young or elderly to do what they want to. 
So, consider the following points. Number one. Consider your current age favorably. Think I'm still young rather than I'm already old. Always work on seeing forward. We are not denying the number of our biological age. But we refuse to accept the social stereotype of how age affects our motivation to work on our goal. Number two. Calculate how much productive time you have remaining. Most people believe that life is shorter than it is. Consider this, a 30-year-old has 80% of his productive life ahead of him, while the 50-year-old has a whopping 40%, the finest 40% of his opportunity years left. So, most of the time, it is never too late to start and pursue your dream. Number 3. Invest future time in accomplishing what you truly desire. It's never too late to learn a new tune on the flute. Socrates began learning a new melody on the flute just seconds before his execution. So, stop saying to yourself, I should have started years ago. Instead, consider this. I'm going to start now because my greatest years are still ahead of me. This is how successful people think. Do you know who is a magnet for bad luck? People who believe they do. And do you understand why? Because, in truth, luck is nothing more than an excuse used by the losers. It's possibly the worst kind of excuse that is out there. It can be cured in two steps. Step 1. Recognize the law of cause and effect. Contrast your poor luck with the good luck of someone else. Be truthful in your comparison. You'll undoubtedly understand that bad luck is a failure to learn from your own failures, but good luck is a combination of preparation, planning, and success-productive thinking. Step 2. Don't be a wishful thinker. Be an action taker. Nobody has ever achieved success by chance. Mastering skills and accomplishing things are the keys to success. So, don't rely on chance. Instead of being a wishful thinker, be a realistic doer. Focus on cultivating the skills that have made others successful. And you'll be a winner as well. A person's life situation or circumstance is often used as an excuse to justify one's actions and inaction because it is external and often no within one's control. It can be seen as a way for someone to avoid responsibility for one's actions. Consider how many times you said, it's not my fault. If you find yourself saying this frequently, you might want to consider the following suggestions seriously. Number 1. Switch to problem-solving mode. First, acknowledge the influence of the external forces or environment. Then switch your thinking mode to problem-solving mode. Find the optimal solutions within your reach. Don't forget you have the power to completely alter your difficult situation by changing your external environment if you are willing to sacrifice your short-term gain for your long-term goal. Number 2. Identify the real root cause. The root cause of blaming external events for what you don't like about your life now could be traced to issues such as motivation, ignorant, or even simply pure laziness. Some people enjoy the juice they can extract from self-pity. Circumstance excusitis is a way of seeking empathy from others for their lack of confidence. Number 3. Take small step of change. Own the outcome of your life, good or bad. It is always better to choose a self-empowering belief than a self-limiting belief. Motivation follows behavior. Taking small steps towards your goal and making little progress each day will energize your spirit and create the motivation you need to change your circumstance. We have covered five key common excuses experienced by people surrounding us and even ourselves. Be constantly on the lookout for the invasion of excusitis virus in our mind. Boost up your immune system to defense against it. Use the cure suggested if you have caught the virus. Post your ideas and remarks below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click the subscribe button to see more content like this, and don't forget to activate the notification bell. See you in the next video.